Last year was the first time since 1988 that there were no new head football coaches in the SEC. This year, there's one new face who's very familiar to this league. Our college football insider, Brian Curtis, joins us now for more on Saban and other news surrounding the SEC. Brian, what's up? Every college football fan knows that Nick Saban is back in the college game. And let's face it, the SEC is a whole lot more interesting with his arrival at Alabama. As soon as Saban took over the tide, heavy recruiting battles began immediately in the SEC as Saban and his staff tried to put together a solid recruiting class, including going after players who had already made verbal commitments to other SEC schools, which of course angered rival coaches. And it didn't leave them very happy. Now, as with any new coach, Saban has made dozens of changes to the Alabama football program, including bringing in a new football strength and conditioning coach, Scott Cochran, from his LSU days. Other changes are in the operations and, believe it or not, media relations department. Steve Spurrier may have his best team yet at South Carolina, but that was not his biggest concern in the days leading up to fall camp. With the sudden death of Wake Forest basketball coach Skip Prosser, Spurrier was a bit shaken and spoke to his coaching staff about the importance of their health. In fact, Spurrier's wife, Jerry, starting a practice back at the University of Florida, insists that all of her husband's assistants receive annual physicals and she follows up with the doctors herself to ensure that they are limiting their health risks. Les Miles has had a busy offseason with public comments about Alabama, USC, and the Pac-10, a spat with Nick Saban and seemingly being the go-to guy for sports writers. But now it's all about football. Offensive coordinator Jimbo Fisher is off to Florida State, and Oregon offensive coordinator Gary Croton replaces him. But don't look for many changes on offense, as Miles has decided to keep much of Fisher's system since his LSU team is a veteran heavy team. Do look for early Doucette to be used in multiple formations to take advantage of his athleticism. Trendon Holiday, who just might be the fastest player in college football, will return kicks and punts, taking advantage of the new kickoff rule, moving the tee back five yards. And finally, Tennessee. The Tennessee football players aren't the only ones who have been getting in great shape for the 2007 season. Head coach Phil Fulmer has lost close to 30 pounds by watching what he is eating and by doing cardio workouts at 6 a.m. every morning. As for the players, keep an eye on freshman defensive end Ben Martin from Cincinnati, who has been quite impressive in early fall camp workouts. Like many schools, Tennessee has been experimenting with different packages, which employ an athletic speedster like a Percy Harvin or Darren McFadden in the backfield, and UT's Lucas Taylor could fill that role.